hello guys welcome to this video tutorial in this video i will explain how to calculate the harmonics in the air gap field distribution of a rotating electric machine i received several requests regarding this topic how to calculate the harmonics in the field distribution using the MATLAB software so I decided to record and share this video so let's start here you know we can calculate the field that is generated by the stator winding yes we discussed this simulation type before in different courses so in the ANSYS Maxwell software, as you know, we can draw a polyline in the middle of the air gap. Yes. So the starting point of this arc is here. Actually, is placed on X axis. And then we set the angle of this arc close to 360 degrees and then we can uh, perform the simulation we define the excitation using the vector diagram or direct set of the currents of the phase a b and c this is a three phase induction motor and then we can calculate the radial component of the flux density vectors in air gap using this calculation details are available in the induction motor design course and this is not the topic of this video then we can uh, generate this field plot so you know to calculate the magnetic loading we need to calculate the fundamental harmonic of this waveform and uh, relative amplitudes we need to calculate higher harmonics uh, s dot harmonics and so on so an easy way is to export this graph here in tab format dot tab uh, format so you can select the tab format and export this graph here i have the data br.tab so let's open this dot tab file here you can see we have three columns distance distance divided by the stator board diameter divided by two minus gap divided by two this is the radius of this arc actually yes because I want to export this graph uh, versus distance and also versus the circumferential coordinate that is radian, right? From zero radian to yes, two times pi, and this is the br. So we should read this data and then calculate the harmonics here is the code you can rewrite the code yourself to calculate the air gap harmonics so here just i clear the command window previous variables and close all available figures we have two important inputs the first one is the number of poles this is a four pole induction motor in our case and h max the index of the maximum harmonic that we need to consider in our calculation so we read the file br.tab file that we exported it before from the ansys maxwell software uh, f open read this file if uh, you cannot open the file, print this error and terminate the code. 
then we read the first line f get line this is the first line we don't need the first line just uh, three strings yes and to get the numbers we should read the line number two to the end so uh, we read this line and don't store the output and then we use the f scanf function to read this file identifier that we have opened it here uh, what is the format is f right these are float numbers and when we read this data we can close the file then we should reshape the data yes if i place a brick point here and run the code and print size of data this is just a vector but we know that we have three columns so i used the reshape function to reshape the data and to have access to each column so then when i have access i can plot the br versus the circumferential coordinate i multiply it by 180 divided by pi to have it in degree and then this is t the second row or second column br is the third row and here i used this equation to calculate the harmonics and you know we have uh, this famous equation here f x is summation of we have a constant value a0 plus summation of a n times cosine of harmonic order times the omega x plus bn times sine of this expression and you know that uh, you know that the average value of this curve is zero yes uh, why because divergence of b is zero if you consider a cylindrical shell that includes the rotor and calculate divergence of b because divergence of b is zero so the value a zero is always zero here you can calculate the average value also yes close to zero i should increase the number of x points here to have this graph with a better smoothness and here i calculated a n and b n so uh, here are equations you know these equations so then we can calculate the amplitude of each harmonic that is sqrt of a n to the power 2 and b n to the power 2 here we should uh, consider the number of poles right that determine the frequency of the waveform then i replot the curve by a summation over harmonics so when i run the code i get two graphs this is hn the amplitude of each harmonic this is the fundamental one. The peak value is 0.74. And we have this harmonics also. Interesting. This is a four pole motor. The number of stator slots is 36. Single layer winding. We have this uh, harmonics in the A gap field distribution that amplitudes are high. 17 19 35 37 yes the 
the number of stator slots is 36 divided by 2 is 18 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 slot harmonics yes you can refer to Agarwal textbook electric machine design and these details are explained in the chapter I think number 3 that discuss the armature field interesting so here I have a for loop I can uh, set the maximum harmonic that I want to consider in this and summation to plot this graph here i considered only fundamental harmonic so you can see the fundamental harmonic of waveform here and if i consider for example up to harmonic 10 yes you can see the summation from the first harmonic to the harmonic number 10 if i consider higher harmonics for example, up to 50 and run, we can see the uh, exact match between our summation and the graph that we have from the ANSI Maxwell software. So, yes, here is the code, and using this uh, M file, you can calculate the air gap. Uh, harmonics yes by calculating the field distribution using the MATLAB software exporting the graph and using the MATLAB so anyway I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching